Hey guys, this is Swati and you are welcome to my YouTube channel Big Data Online School. In this video, we will learn about distributed shared variables. But before moving forward, I just want you to give a recap on Spark architecture. So let's see here that we have discussed in our last video how the Spark architecture works. That we have a driver program where we are going to write our main functions and all the program by initializing Spark context. And then that program is sent to worker node in order to run it in our cluster. So there we need memory, we need all the containers and for there only we need executors and all. So there it will run and it will give output from like executor to this driver program, right? Before proceeding with this broadcast variable and accumulator, I just want you to know that this architecture will only help us to understand how this driver executors work with broadcast variable and accumulator. So let's get started. We have distributed shared variables. Shared variables means variables would be shared among executors. May it be for right thing, may it be for read thing. So basically, as you know that we have two kind of APIs, lower level APIs and higher level APIs. In lower level APIs, we have covered RDD, that is the basic building block of Spark. And for higher level APIs, we have covered data frames and data sets. Also, we are going to see data frames and data sets in detail in our next video. Here, we will see the second kind of low level API in Spark, which is of two types. That is a, a distributed shared variable. First is broadcast variable and second is accumulator. So, what are they? So, before proceeding with the detail, let me just give you a brief difference between this broadcast variable and accumulator that broadcast variable is nothing but it's a reading variable like the data that would be readable will be stored under this broadcast variable and accumulators are nothing but this is like kind of writable variable where we are going to write data we are going to update our data you can think of an example of this broadcast cast variable as like we are going to save large value on these of the worker nodes, these of the executors. And on the other hand, you can think of an example of accumulators as counter, where we are going to add value, where we are going to update value and just transfer it to a driver once it is getting executed. So let me explain one by one in detail what actually broadcast variables is. Broadcast variables are nothing but this is read-only variables that needs to be sent to all the worker nodes present in the cluster as some variable. As you can see here, this is our driver, all right, where we are going to write main function, where we, where we are going to write all the posts. And in order to execute this file, we need to send it to worker nodes where executors are present. There only it needs to be run on the cluster, right? So how it will work, as you can see in the picture, this we have to initialize some of the variables that is named as broadcast variable. And then we have to send it across the cluster where worker nodes are present and under worker nodes only containers will be initiated, memories will be initialized with the help of cluster manager and with the help of executors all the ports will be processed, all the programs or all the tasks will be processed and will get the output. So here what happens, it's like uh, some of the tables, let's say we have geography table where we are going to uh, write city name, state name, country name, pin code or maybe telephone code or that needs to be joined by some of the more of the table. So what we will do instead of like sending that table again and again from driver to our cluster, what we will do, we will just send it across whole of the network once only so that that table would be cached, that table would be in memory for whole of the executor. Let's say we have five executors here. So we will send that table, the large table, which will fit in our executor's memory in whole of the cluster like we'll broadcast it in whole of the cluster, in whole of five executors, so that it would be in cache, it would be in memory for whole of the five executors. And whenever we require the data from that large table, we will get the data without doing any further work. Why? Like it's already there in cache of all these five executors. So we'll get whole of the data from cache only, from memory only. We don't need to do any further work. It's like broadcast variables are shared variables as I'm discussing here that, that one variable will be shared across all the executors, across all the worker nodes that is going to be stored. And one more thing is like broadcast variables are immutable variable. You cannot 
update, you cannot change the value of that broadcast variable. And this is the main point because it's like we don't need to update anything. We don't need to write anything. It's just a read-only variable. So we just need to share that variable across whole of the cluster so that all the executors, each and every executor will get the same data. And we don't need to process it again and again from driver to executors or vice versa. Right. So it's an immutable variable that doesn't need to be updated or that doesn't need to be modified in the cluster. How we can initialize this? Just if we are going to initialize Spark context, after that only you just need to write Spark context and then dot and then broadcast and whatever the variable name is. Let's say we have variable here as bb. We are taking broadcast variable as bb. So how we are going to write it? First of all, let us think that we have already executed Spark context. Let's say our Spark context is nothing but sp. So what we will write? We will write sp dot broadcast and in bracket we have to give variable name let's say our variable name is bv as we have seen in our picture so this way we are going to initialize this broadcast variable called bv as we can see here in the picture i'll give you a real time example let's say we have some of the large data that we need to join with the whole of the data what we'll do we will just send that, that data of whole of across all the network and then we will just use that data again and again and this is like a real time thing only it's like we are also doing in our project let's say we have some of the table let's say we have some of the fact table that needs to be reused again and again so what we are doing we, we just create a variable rdd variable and we just send it across the cluster and there only in all the executors it, it gets copied and from that we use it multiple times whenever it is required now we understood how we can create broadcast variable. How? We just need to create first of all, we just need to write spark context and then dot broadcast and then in bracket we need to give broadcast variable name. Now it's like, okay, we have already created it, but now we want to use this variable. So how we can use it? To use broadcast variable, this bv, we need to write value, b-a-l-u-e, else it will simply replace value as zero. See. We have already initialized it by now, right? The variable name is bv. But in order to write, in order to use this broadcast variable, what we have to do? We have to write broadcast variable name and then this value. And then whatever the operation you want to do. Let's say I want to do this get or else operation where I, I want to write one of my RDD name. Let's say it's RDD1 and 0. It's like I'll get this RDD or I'll get the 0 instead of this. So how we are going to use it, I am going to write this variable name and then value and then any of my further operations. So this way we are going to utilize this broadcast variable. Here we have learned to initialize broadcast variable with some of the name and here we have learned how we can use this broadcast variable. Alright, I hope you guys understood how broadcast variables work. This is nothing but First of all, we need to create broadcast variable and from the driver, we need to send this broadcast variable to whole of the cluster. So, in the cluster, it will be sent to worker nodes and there from that worker nodes, it will be it will be copied into whole of the executor. So, once whole of the broadcast variables are sent to or copied to whole of the executors, now we are good to reuse the value of that broadcast variable, whatever is there in the executor's memory. Moving forward, now we'll go for accumulator. So, what actually accumulator is? Imagine that we have to do some of the count operation and we need to get some of the variable. As the name suggests, accumulator. It will accumulate everything. As you can see here in the picture also, that it is accumulating something from executor to driver, right? So, this is part second type of shared variable that is write only operation that we'll do. It will not read or something that we have learnt in this broadcast variable. It is write only kind of execution. Write only variable that updates its value in the worker nodes. See, if this is write only variable, so obviously it cannot be immutable. Why? Because immutable thing cannot be overwritten or cannot be modified or changed, right? So obviously it will be mutable kind of variable, right? It's like a way of updating a value inside of a variety of transformations and sending this updated value to the driver node in an efficient and fault-tolerant way. 
see let's say you have some of the variable and you want to update it so how we are going to write it is like variable 1 if we have the name as v1 so we are going to write it v1 equals to v1 plus 1 right it's like we are going to get updated from we are going to get updated counter value right as discussed accumulators are mutable variable that needs to be updated in per row basis in spark cluster generally this variable is used to implement counters or sums why because it will accumulate all the data let's say you are calculating something let's say you are calculating number of blank lines in your system so how it will be calculated first of all it will calculate from this executor let's say it is 2 now it will go and calculate from this executor let's say again it is 2 so 2 plus 2 it will be 4 then from this executor then from this executor then from this executor so this way it will accumulate whole of the value of the blank line like how many the number of lines blank lines are there and then it will send all the results to the driver as an accumulated value as an accumulator variable all right so generally this variable is used to implement counters or sums why because we need to accumulate we need to update we need to add value so obviously it will be act as counters or maybe sum of the variable for accumulator update performed inside action for you see as we have discussed that lazy evaluation needs to be performed in whole of the spark operation so obviously here in accumulators also it needs to follow lazy evaluation method right so whenever actions are done then only like in actions only all the accumulator operations are going to be performed so let me show you how we can initialize this accumulator as we have done for broadcast variable c let's say you want one accumulator variable let's say the name of the av as accumulator variable so how we are going to initialize first of all we need to initialize spark context let's say our spark context name is fc now we have to write accumulator here like this and we have to give initialize value as zero that the first value would be zero and whenever it is going to be updated it will be just added or it will be summed up so let's say we are going to update the value how we will be updating it it's like accumulator variable equals to accumulator variable plus one so this way it will be going to be updated every time whenever it finds any of the blank line or something that I have given example over here. So I have I hope you guys are clear with this accumulator. How accumulator works, what actually accumulators are, it is nothing, but it is a, a mutable variable which is used to update the value inside of a variety of transformations, and these values, updated values, are sent to this driver in order to get the output. And for what we actually use it, we generally use it for counter purpose. And also we have learned how we have initialized this uh, accumulator. It's like we need to write accumulator variable name and then we have to write spark context dot accumulator as an accumulator keyword and then we need to initialize the value. So we have initialized it as zero. I hope you guys are clear with distributed share variable. We have learned two things, broadcast variable and accumulators. Where broadcast variables are nothing but immutable variables, where data is going to be the variable is going to be broadcasted across whole of the executors in the cluster or whole of the worker nodes in the cluster but in accumulator the reverse operations are performed where data is going to be updated and collected from executors to drive i hope you guys are clear with this thank you for watching